divine intervention which carried the call of Hajj throughout history will carry the message, his message. And there will be people who will listen to it, take it full heartly and answer the call. His message was not carried to us by a miracle. It was not written in the sky. And we wake up in the morning and see it is written there that Imam Hussein did that. It was not written in the moon. It was not in, engraved in the stones of Al Kaaba. How it was carried to us until now? By sincere companions who came later on and carried the message century after century until it came to us today here in Montreal. Those companions, whether they were scholars, our great scholars, or individuals who took the message full heartly and went through tremendous hardship to keep it alive, to carry it through, and to deliver it through their children, to their grandchildren, or through their books and teachings. And there was lots of hardship. It was not easy to carry it through. I remember at times when I was a kid, it was not allowed to make a commemoration of Imam Hussein. So what do we do? We let the message die? No. Our grandparents and parents, they used to take a tent and go to the desert at night with the tent, early morning we walk, in the day of Ashura, men, kids, elders, carrying with us the pots and the food and the rest of it, and we go there and we make Ashura. And I'm sure the elders, they have seen much more difficulties than this. In certain areas, the commemoration of Ashura used to be in the underground with a little candle, or in the prison. Tremendous hardship. Those companions who were not with Imam Hussein in Karbala, but came afterwards, and they carried the flag and message of Ashura until it arrived to us here today. So the question arises: we are here, the call and message arrived to us. What are we going to do with it? Different people will react differently. Throughout history, the same. Some individuals will be inspired personally by that message. It will change their life, and that's it. Others, they will be inspired, and they feel necessity of delivering it to their kids or the other generations, and that's it. Each one is doing an effort. Others, they have much more energy, and they see much more power in it. That they, are, they cannot be rested. They become restless, trying all the different methods to carry this to everyone they can carry it to. If the message of Ashura is so powerful, it's because of two things. The message by itself, and those who carried it until it came back to us. And here we are commemorating all those people, the companions of Imam Hussein, and those who carried the message until it came back to us, here in Montreal. Last year, a group of brothers and sisters, they had a vision that this message should be taken step forward. 
and that we should all, all the Shia, if it is possible, in Montreal, to get together and commemorate the Nath of Ansar, to manifest Ansar of Imam Hussein in Montreal. We carried the message, we went to all the centers in Montreal, eight or nine of them. We met the management of each center, and we discussed the vision with them, with each management. It took us four months, going from one place to another. Many of our brothers and sisters who are here were with us last year. But at the end, the result was that there is a common consensus in management that it's not possible in the near future. Lots of work needs to be done, and for various reasons that we have brought down in a report, which is available for whosoever is interested. So what do we do? Do we let the idea die? No. Those sincere brothers and sisters, they decided to make the night of Ansar, the night of unity among all the youth and all those who believe that in diversity there is beauty, but at the same time there is a need for unity because we all feel, face the same challenges. So we established the first night of Ansar last year in the third day of January 2009. And this year for the second time we are commemorating the night of Ansar also with the sincere brothers and sisters who stepped forward and would like to share with you some of the lessons they have learned from the companions of Imam Hussein. Therefore, the program will go as such. We have eight of our brothers and sisters, four brothers and four sisters. Each one of them will give a very brief and short introduction and introspection about one of the companions of Imam Hussein So, we start our program 